Hello. Yeah, let's see if these things work. Yeah, this work. This one. No. Okay. So my name is Satbir Singh Mali. Let me spell it for you. This is how it's spelled. S A T B I R. Okay, so I'm going to start from where? I'm going to start from we have to compute the sum of the series. One is one. Yeah, we have to compute the sum of the series. Which is, which is written as 1 over 3 to the power n, n plus 1. First thing we need to do is we need to identify this series. You know, we need to identify this series, what type of this series is. So in order to do that, and I look through into this series and see what category of my series is. So part A, series n vary from 0 to infinity. 1 over 3 to the power n, n plus 1. I can rewrite this series so I can identify it simply. So this is look to me is n plus 1, 1 third raised to power n. You know, this series is 1 over n, 1 third to the power n. If I replace if I replace this as a placeholder x, so this is the form of this series is somewhat 1 plus n x to the power n if my x is one third. So this is the form of the series. First thing is we have to identify what what kind of series we have, how it looks like. You know, this series look to me is x to the power n divide by n plus 1. Now, I will go into my generic series. My generic series is this, because this does not have any factorial. When the series does not have any factorial, I tend to use this series. 1 over 1 minus x, the McLaren's form of this function, is n vary from 0 to infinity, x raised to power n. You see? So now compare this one, this series and this series. They are very close to each other, but there are some difference between them. You know, it has x to the power n. The other series has x to the power n, but the denominator is n plus one. There is a factor n plus one in the denominator. So how? What I can do here? So I produce that factor n plus one. So this is how I think I'm gonna think to the series. I'm gonna manipulate the series so that this series look like exactly the one which in my question. You know? So what should I do? How about integrating? So let's try to integrate this series. So integrate. Integrate both sides. So what is the integration of this on this side? What is the integration of one minus 1 over 1 minus x. The integration of this is natural log of 1 minus x with a negative sign. Is that correct or not? The integration of this side is n vary from 0 to infinity x raised to power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. The integration of that side is this. Okay. Now this series, I have factor one over n plus one in my series, but now I have one more power. So, but I don't want one more power. So we can factor this out. So this is a x. This is a n. So there is a constant also. Plus a c. Plus the constant of the integration. So this is x to the power n divided by n plus 1. So this is the series I'm looking for, n vary from 0. What is the constant? How to, how to compute the constant now? Because there is a constant of integration. So my series is, if you look back, this is the natural log 1 minus x is now x summation n vary from 0 to infinity 
x to the power n divided by n plus 1 plus c. If I set x is equal to 0, if I set x is equal to 0, on this side, natural log of 1 minus 0, natural log of 1, which is a 0. So 0 is equal to, if x is equal to 0, this whole thing claps. 0 plus c, it means my c, the constant of my integration is 0. So that does not affect anything because my constant is 0. Now, let's say this function I'm going to divide over x. So my series n vary from 0 to infinity, x to the power n divided by n plus 1 is minus natural log of 1 minus x divided by x, you know, when x is not 0. It means I cannot divide over if x is not a 0. But my x in the equation is 1 third. So you see that my x was 1 third, so it's not 0 when I'm going to use this formula. So now I have the formula for this one, n vary from 0 to infinity, n vary from 0 to infinity, x to the power n, x to the power n, divide by n plus 1, I have divided by n plus 1. So I can directly use this formula here. So I can take this one, and I'm going to plug back into here. Okay, so this one is... Now this one is minus natural log of 1 minus x divided by x. But what was our x? But x was 1 third. So this is natural log of 1 minus 1 third divided by 1 third. So that's your answer. Again, so we can look this question one more time. So first thing we need to do is, so let me zoom in because sometimes it's very difficult. So first thing we need to do is we have to identify this series. The series is in the quotient. I rewrite this series in term of n to power, n to the power of something. So I have one third, one over n plus one. So if I take my x one third as a placeholder, I place x here. This series is very similar to this one and vary from zero to infinity 1 over n plus 1 x to the power n if my x is 1 third. Now my goal is to identify this series. I need to find the sum of this series. Again I tell you we're going to go back and look here which series I can use. I cannot use e to the power x, cosine x and sine x. The reason is this series has factorials in the denominator. But my series in the question does not have any factorial. So what I'm going to use is, I'm going to use the first one. Since the first and second and third, they are similar, I will just use the first one all the time during my, this presentation. So you see this series was 1 over 1 minus x, which can be written as n goes from 0 to infinity x to the power n. If I want to produce n plus 1 factor in the denominator, I have to integrate the series. So I integrate both sides. If the integration of 1 over 1 minus x is minus natural log of 1 minus x. And the integration of this side is you raise to the power 1, you add 1 in the power, and you divide by the same power. And then you add the constant of the integration. Luckily, my constant of integration is, is 0, because if I plug z, 0 as x, the both side gives you 0 is equal to 0 plus constant. So constant is 0. I plug back the constant and I was able to evaluate my series. The series n vary from 0 to infinity x to the power n divide, divide by n plus 1, which gives me a functional form minus natural log 1 minus x divided by x. Now I can use this series in my original question and calculate the sum. So this, this is how we can visualize these problems. And there are a lot of them, which we have to manipulate the series. We have to identify the series, then we have to manipulate the series, and then we use the sum. Is that OK now? Yeah. OK, let's see what is the next problem. So next problem is, again, Number B. 
summation n vary from 0 to infinity n 3 to the power n. I will rewrite this series so it looks a little better to me so I can identify it. So it looks like n 1 third raised to power n. This series looks to me like this. I can rewrite this series n times 1 third the whole raised to power n. Now I can see that one third will turn into x. So what I'm looking here is something like this. n vary from 0 to infinity n x to the power n if my x is one third. This is my target. This is my target series now. So what I want to I want to identify this series, what type of this series is, and I want to find the sum of that series in term of x. This is my goal. So I set up my goal, I look into the series, I rearrange the series so that I can place the x into the series, and the x is always something like a number. So I replace x is equal to one third, so now it looks familiar to me. And now what I do is I'm gonna go back into this list and I'm going to analyze. You know, what I'm going to analyze, I cannot use e to the x because it has a factorial. I cannot use cosine of x because it has a factorial. I cannot use sine x, it has a factorial. So I can only use 1 over 1 minus x or the last two 1. But as I told you, 1 minus 1 over x and the last two 1, they are identical. They are just differ by integration or differentiation. So why not use the 1 minus 1 over x all the time. So again, I'm going to use, I'm going to use the same series. We're going to say 1 over 1 minus x. This series is n vary from 0 to infinity. And this is the x to the power n. x to the power n. Okay, I'm going to rewrite it. x to the power n. Now, notice one thing. What is the difference between this series and the one in the question? You know, it has an n. It has one more n. I have to fix that one. So what I do, should I integrate or differentiate? You have to choose one operation. Either you will integrate in the exam or you differentiate. Which one help you? Differentiate. Because differentiate will pull the power from the top and that bring into the bottom. So if I differentiate both sides, with respect to x, so differentiate with respect to x. What is the differentiation of 1 over 1 minus x? This is some sort of quotient rule. If you do that, it will be 1 over 1 minus x square. This is the math 125, I believe. And the differentiation on the other side is n time x to the power n minus 1. But since I differentiate, I kill the first term. Uh, my series will start from n is equal to 1. So notice this thing happened. When you differentiate, you kill the term. When you integrate, you add the constant. So there are two different things, two different operations. One operation kill the constant. Another operation add the constant because they are empty to each other. So I kill the first term, so my sum is now starting for n is equal to 1 to infinity, but here my sum is starting for n is equal to 0, so what I need to do is I need to go back again with my sum n is equal to 0. So how you go back, if you want to go back to sum n is equal to 0, what do you do? Here. So you replace you're going to replace n by what? n by? If you want, like if your sum is now starting from n is equal to 1, but you want to start the sum n is equal to 0, what operation you have to do here? Kill the first term, that's one option, but yeah, we can do another way. We can just rearrange the sum. We can do that too. Because if you plug n is equal to 1, this is starting from 1. So what I can do is, I can replace whole n by n plus 1. 
this is the one way this is another way to do it you know yeah you're right but this is another way to do it so now this is n plus 1 and x to the power n is that good okay so this one is summation n vary from 0 to infinity n time x to the power n plus since series are convergent I can write two series out of this x to the power n this is what I'm looking for you know this is the series I'm looking for because this series exactly is equal to the one which I want for my question so therefore what I do is therefore this series n vary from 0 to infinity n x to the power n this is equal to 1 over 1 minus x square minus I move that one on the other side n vary from 0 to infinity x to the power n but we already know what is the sum of this series the sum of this series is 1 minus x square this is a 1 over 1 minus x see so this is now this is the series we're gonna use for our calculation so this series n vary from 0 to infinity n time x to the power n is equal to 1 over 1 minus x square minus 1 over 1 minus x so my original question was x n vary from 0 to infinity n 3 to the power n and this is equal to n 0 to infinity n time x to the power n where x is a one third so this one is identical to this one so what I will do so my original question is basically I plug x to the one third here so, so 1 over 1 minus one third the square of this minus 1 over 1 minus 1 third so that's the sum of my original series which is a part B yes you can do the calculation but I will leave it here again we can go back into this question you see the series is x to the power n divided by n to the power 3 which can be written as n time 1 third to the power n 1 third I can take as a placeholder and this series look to me like n time x to the power n now this series does not have any factorial since this series does not have any factorial I will use this series 1 over 1 minus x 1 over 1 minus x is nothing but is equal to x to the power n so I need 1 n so I differentiate this series since I differentiate this series I will kill the first term so my series will start from n is equal to 1 instead of start n is equal to 0 but this series is n is equal to 0 so if I want to go back I want to reshuffle the sum if sum is starting from n is equal to 1 and I want to go back you add n you replace n by n plus 1 so going back is adding something forward so this is how you basically reshuffle the sum so I I replace this by n n plus 1 so when I did that I my n become n plus 1 x to the power n n plus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so x to the power n so these two series are identical you can see the first term if I plug n is equal to 1 this is a 1 x to the power 0 if I plug 0 this is a 1 x to the power 0 so these two series are identical it's just been n has been reshuffled again you know now this series I this the sum of two series and this is a power series which is a, a convergent I can divide into two pieces and I know that what what is the sum of this series the sum of this series is a 1 over 1 minus x so I divide I take this on the other side and so I compute that's my series the original one I need it now the sum of this series is 1 over 1 minus x square minus 1 over 1 minus x so this series is identical to the one which was in my question where x is equal to one third so what, what I will do that I will go ahead and plug x is equal to one third and I put that back into my answer you know, here okay so these are the one these these are the two one which you use uh, even third one also use the same thing 
because there is a no factorial also. You know, the third one does not have also a factorial. So we will use the same technique. Let's see. I think we are getting expert now. Uh, this series look like n vary from n vary from zero to infinity. n square minus n divided by three to the power n. I can rewrite this series. n vary from zero to infinity. n n minus one one third x to the power means to the power n. This series look like to me this. So now I can compare this one with this one. One minus x because there is no factorial here. So if I compare, n will start from zero to infinity, x to the power n. So now see the comparison now. This series has x to the power n. This series has one third to the power n. So these two term match. But this term, there are two extra term in this series, which is n and n minus one. You know, these are the two extra term in this series, but we do not have these extra term here. So we have to produce these two extra term. And what operation can produce the terms like this? It is a differentiation. If you differentiate this series one time, you get n. And if you differentiate one more time, you get n minus one. So what we have to do is this time, we have to differentiate this series two times, twice. So let's do that. If I differentiate one time, this series will give me one over one minus x square. The differentiation of one over one minus x square is one over one minus x. You can use the quotient rule or you can move that in the in the denominator and then use the chain rule. On this side, I will kill the first term. So my sum will start from n is equal to one, one to infinity. This is a n x to the power n minus one. This is the first derivative. And the second derivative will be, two will be on the top, one minus x to the power three in the bottom. So that will be the second derivative. And now my sum will start from two, and starting from two to infinity, and I have n, n minus two, x to the power n minus, n minus two. Okay, that's my two derivatives of my function. Now the only difference is, so we can do two things, you know. So now I can use the one uh, that student was giving me the suggestion. So what I can do is, since this series start from two, instead of replacing that to one, going back to zero or one, what I do, I expand this series for two terms. Second derivative is? Oh, yes, n minus one. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, thank you. So what I can do here now, my n is start from two, and here n start from zero. I can write down the first two term. I can peel off the first two term, so that both sum will start from the same term. So let's write down this one. If I plug n is equal to zero, everything is zero. If I plug n is equal to one, everything is zero. The first two term are zero, so if I peel off even the first two term, my this series is starting from n is equal to two to infinity, n, n minus one, one third to the power n. You see, now this series starting from two, this series also starting from two. This series has n, the both series has n. And there are n minus one, yes, there is a n minus one. This is a x, x to the, here is a one third, one to the power n, but it has n minus two. So if I want to put n minus two here, what I need to do is, I need to one third to the power minus two. I can do that. Instead of like working with this array, I just can work with the one I have in the original caution, you know. Now, if I rewrite this one, this one is going to be n vary from two to infinity, n, n minus one, one third 
n minus 2, one third to the power negative 2 is going to be, it's going to be 1 over 9 to the power negative 1 and it's going to flip. So, you're going to have 9 outside. Is that okay? One third to the power negative 2 is 9 because the one to 9 and then you flip that because of the exponent. Okay, now this series is identical to this series and we know what is the sum of this series. The sum of this series is 2, so this is going to be 9, 2 over 1 minus, x is a 1 third, the power 3. So that's your answer. So this is another way of working, basically working backward and forward at the same time. So you can push them together, the answer and the question, you know. So this is another way of doing it, the problem. So the, in the very first problem, what I did, I work only on 1 minus 1 over x, and I try to convert that whole entire series, the one which is look exactly into my the question. But this time, what I did is, I work on this series, and I also same time work on the, the one which was in the question. And I try to push them together, so they look identical. So again, so look at this one. What we did is, again, revisit this question. So I have this series, n square minus n divided by 3 to the power n. This is look identical to n, n minus 1, 1 third to the power n. Since this series does not have any factorial, so I will ignore e to the power x, sine and cosine. And when this series does not have any factorial, I will always use 1 over 1 minus x, which is equal to x to the power n. Since this is equal to x to the power n, so my goal is to differentiate or integrate this series so that it will look like one I have in my question. So x to the power n, but this one has n and n minus 1, so I will differentiate twice. So if I differentiate this, this side twice, I get 2 divided by 1 minus x to the power 3, but if I differentiate this twice, I get n, n minus 1, x to the power n minus 2. And notice one more thing, because I'm differentiating, I'm killing the constant. Or whenever I differentiate, I kill the constant. So one differentiation kill the one constant, so series start from n is equal to 1. If you differentiate one more time, it will kill the another constant, so I'm starting for n is equal to 2. Now, my problem is, my this series is starting from n is equal to 0, this series starting from n is equal to 2. So now I'm going to work with this series to make look like that. So instead of going this, replacing n by n plus 2 and going back, this n is equal to 0, I'm going to make this, this sum forward. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to peel off the first two terms. I'm going to plug n is equal to 0 and n is equal to 1 and write down these terms. In this situation, my first, when I plug n is equal to 0 and n is equal to 1, my both terms are 1. But sometimes you will may have numbers, you know. And now my sum starting from n is equal to 2 to infinity, n, n minus 1, 1 third, n minus 1 third to the power n. But here, what I have, x to the power n minus 2. I have an extra n minus 2, minus 2. So what I did is, if I subtract 2, I have to also add 2, you know. So 1 to the 1, 1 third to the power negative 2. So basically this, if I add, no, no. This should be plus, sorry. This should be plus. No, I find the mistake. Yeah. Because if you add them, you go back to n, you know. So this should be plus. So this should be 1 over n. Yeah. So 1 over n. Yeah, so if I subtract something, I have to add also. So now, this 1 third to the power 2 is 1 9. And this series, the sum of this series is equal to 2 over 1 minus x to the power 3 where my x is one third, so I plug back into this sum, so I get my sum. So you do not have to simplify in the exam, so you can leave the sum like that, okay? The only thing you have to do is you have to identify the right C and then manipulate all the calculation. Okay, this one is, uh, This question is uh, not even to identify the series. This one is basically we know, need to know the functional representation of the series. 
what type of uh, series the function will represent. So let's begin with uh, this integ function. So part A. First, we're going to see we're going to write this function x over uh, two minus x square. First, we write down this function in term of series, and then we will integrate. You know, because the integration of the polynomial is a lot easier than integration some rational function. So what our, what our goal is, our goal is first to convert this function x over 2 minus x square into infinite series and then we will integrate. Again, so this function to me look like this. So I can pull out the x is a 1 over 2 minus x square and I can pull out 2 also. So x divided by 2 is 1 over 1 minus x square divided by 2. So this is extra factor, but this function 1 over 1 minus x, we know what type of series representation this function has. As I told you, you have this series representation. So the function 1 minus 1 over x, this is the only function which is polynomial. So you're going to just look into this one. Because if the function has e to the power x, cosine, sine x, then we will look into these, these one. We will not look sine, and tangent, and uh, logarithm because they can be obtained from here. So the only option we left is the 1 over 1 minus x because the, our function does not have sine and cosine and e to the power x. So we're going to look into this McLaren series, 1 over 1 minus x. Here, if you look at the function, function is very similar. The function is, ignore this piece, this is 1 over 1 minus something. So this series representation, you can think of this. So 1 minus 1 over x is x to the power n. If you replace x, let's say by something, anything, you can replace like something by apple. So it means this is how to draw apple. Apple to the power n. You know. So this. So 1 minus something is equal to n vary from 0 to infinity whatever that number is here to the power n. So this function is identical to 1 over 1 minus something is x squared divided by 2. So I can write the power series representation of this function by summation n vary from 0 to infinity. This x squared divided by 2 whole entire raised to power n. So I convert this function into infinite series by using this formula 1 minus something is equal to infinite series of x to the power n or something, whatever that number is to the power n. So I can move these x inside so this to clean it up. n will be from 0 to infinity. This is a x to the power 2n because x2 is 2 to the power n and there is one more x. So 2n plus 1. This is a 2 and this is 2 to the power n. So n plus one. Is that okay? So x over this function, x over x square can be represented by infinite series of this type, x to the power 2n plus 1 divided by 2 to the power n plus 1. Now I can integrate both sides. If I integrate both sides, since the infinite series is uh, Convergent, I can move the uh, move the integration inside. So let's move this integration inside and see what happens. So this is a n vary from zero to infinity, and one over two to the power n plus one. This is a constant because I'm doing the integration with respect to x. So my integration only gonna act on two to the power n plus one dx. Only integration going to act on this piece, which is a depend on x. The rest is does not depend on x, so I'm going to move it out. And I think we know that the integration of polynomial function is easier than the rational. The integration of this is going to be 2 to the power n plus 2. You add 1 in the power, and then you divide that power. 
and then you add the constant of integration. You know, at the end, you have to also add the constant of integrations because when you are integrating, you add the constant. When you're differentiating, you're killing the constant. I think that's all. Do we have to do anything else? No, that's all. Yeah. So this is your x divided by 2 minus x squared dx. So this is your always circle your answer so that your grader can see. Again, so when they ask you to integrate or differentiate by using the power series, first you have to look at the one thing. Your function is a polynomial or it has exponentials. If the function is polynomial, you always looking something 1 over 1 minus x. This is the function you're going to target. So the first thing I would do is I convert my function. I manipulate my function so that it will look like 1 minus 1, 1 over 1 minus something. So I'm going to manipulate this one. So what I did is first I move the x which is on the top outside. The second thing is there was 2 here. I have to pull this out because it has to be 1. So I pull the 2 out and I place here. So now I have 1 over 1 minus x squared divided by 2. So now my function, this function 1 over 1 minus x squared divided by 2 is exactly look like 1 over 1 minus x, where x is x squared divided by 2. So I can write the representation of this function as an infinite series. In this case, it will be x divided by 2 n vary from 0 to infinity, this raised to power n. So I'll only target this, for this piece. We only target this piece. So 1 over 1 minus that piece turn into x to this piece to the power n of the infinite series. So when we have that, we can clean it off. We can move that, power, that x inside to inside. So I clean this off. And then I can integrate. Now I have the infinite series representation of my function. And I can rewrite it here also if, you know, I clean it here and then x to the power 2n plus 1 to the power n plus 1. So this, I have the representation of my function as an infinite series. Now I can integrate it or differentiate or whatever they want like to uh, operate it, operation. Okay, let's see. We have one more question. Yeah, this is a e to the power x. So we clearly looking into, so this is pretty clear that we have to look into exponential series. So first, e to the power minus x square. So first we have to rewrite this function as infinite series, x to the power, e to the power minus x square. So we look into this series, e to the power x is, the series e to the power x is summation n vary from 0 to infinity. You have to memorize all this series, unfortunately. Actually, you, if you memorize this series, there is a caution in the free response, I guess, or no? In the multiple choice where they ask you to write down the, all these series. So there's going to be a separate point for that. You have to memorize this series, and there is going to be a question where they're going to ask you to basically rewrite all these series. So you can use later on the uh, free response caution. So, yeah, you have to unfortunately memorize this series. So e to the power x is equal to n vary from 0 to infinity, x to the power n, divided by the factorial n. So here, what is the difference? So difference is, the x is replaced by minus x square. So I'm going to take that x as a placeholder, and I'm going to place x square instead of x. I take my x as a placeholder and place minus x square. So now this will turn into this theory. This function will turn into now, do a little bit more uh, simplification or cleaning part. This is going to be minus 1 to the power n, x to the power 2n, and divide by n factorial. Now we can integrate. You know. So integrate both sides is e to the minus x square dx. So once I integrate, I always integrate inside the summation because these are all uh, McLaren series, they are all convergent, and I can move the integration inside. So I always look the function 
which is in wall of x and I pull all the constant outside of my integration. So I have to integrate this one. I only need to integrate the function x to the power 2n. And we are getting close to our answer. Minus 1 to the power n n factorial. So this is integration of this is a 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. So you add 1 in the power and you divide by that power and then the constant of integration at the end of, you know, question. So that completes this question. Yeah, these are a bit easier than the other one when you have given the series and then you have to manipulate into the function. But when you have given the function, so you know that uh, you have only few options, you know, either it's a 1 over 1 minus x or either e to the power x or cosine or sine, you know.